This is Sebastian, KB0TTL. I've done a video today showing how to overcome the band error problem on the 878 handheld and the 578 mobile. The video shot showing CPS version 1.16 and an 878 handheld. However, the same process will work with version 1.05 CPS and a 578 mobile as well. Um, the video depicts um, uploading the original code plug off of your radio, exporting the list files from your old code plug, and then importing them back to the original code plug that is already on your radio, and then writing that back to the radio. This should solve any out-of-band errors that you may be receiving. Please enjoy the video, and again, this is Sebastian KB0TTL. Here's how to use an older code plug on your new AnyTone UV878 radio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to open up, uh, just really quick, a previously created code plug uh, for the new radio. And I'll show you what's likely to happen when you try it. I'm going to go ahead and load a code plug that was created several months ago for a different AnyTone radio. And we've loaded our code plug. Now I'm just going to make sure my COM port settings are right and that we are seeing our radio here, which we are. We're on COM port 6. I'm going to try to write this code plug over to the brand new Anytone UV878 Plus radio, and we'll see what happens. And we receive a band error. For some reason, our old code plug is not compatible with our new radio. There is a way around this. It's actually a pretty simple way around this. Okay, so we have the code plug that we're trying to write to our new radio. We're going to go ahead and export the data from the code plug to a list file. For this, I'm going to create a new folder. You don't have to create a new folder, but it does help. I'm just going to call this folder code plug. You can call your folder whichever you would like. And I'm just going to call my code plug code plug. The export file we're going to call code plug. And I'm going to push save. Export all, yes. It can take a few minutes for the export process to complete. And our export is now complete. Now let's go ahead and read the default code plug that originally came programmed on your radio. For this, we're simply going to read from radio. This is the original default code plug that was shipped with your radio. Let's go ahead and import the information that we just exported from that code plug onto the existing code plug that's in the radio. Here's code plug.lst, the file we just created when we did our export. I'm going to go ahead and open that and import it to the existing code plug that we read from the radio. It can take a few minutes to complete the import. After a few minutes, the code plug is now imported. As you can see, all of the channels that were in our old code plug have been imported to our existing code plug that was in the radio. Now it's time to write this code plug back to the radio. Checking again to make sure we're in the right COM port. In this case, it's COM port number six. This time, let's see what happens when we write our modified code plug to the radio. And no band error, we have success. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how to go ahead and convert your old code plug to work with your new radio. Again, this is Sebastian, KB0TTL, and 73.